Hey, what's up guys? It's Ian. Today, on a little talk about Tuesday, we're going to go over some of the things that I like and don't like about the 9-speed transmission versus the 10-speed transmission that's in the new Honda Pilot. We have about a little over 16,000 miles on the Pilot, a lot of highway trips, a lot of daily driving, and then the Ridgeline behind me, uh, I only have about 45,000 miles on it. But nevertheless, so things I like about the nine speed is that you can hold first gear. You can't do that in the 10 speed. I've belabored that point quite a bit, so I'm not gonna go any further on that one. That's what it'll be. So I like that about the, about the nine speed over the 10 speed. The nine speed, I feel, shifts smoother on a more consistent basis. The 10 speed, when you're changing gears, if you're not going just the right speed, it kind of has this like, kind of like sluggishness to it or uh, like a misengagement or something. It's, it still shifts, but there's a, there's definitely, like you can feel it happen. And uh, it almost reminds me of what I would say is like slack in a drivetrain or something along those lines The uh, that the nine speed just doesn't have. They both have push button shift. The 10 speed does shift quicker if you're doing like reverse to drive or things like that than the ZF 9 speed unit in the 21s. So that might be something that you would care about. Overall, I don't think either transmission really hunts for gears. They, they do a good job of, of just moving along nicely without much issue. So that's a good thing. And if you want something real specific, let me know. But that's really all I've got from a comparison standpoint. They've both been good to me. I don't have much complaint with them. I, I do wish that the Trail Sport came with an exter external transmission cooler. It does not. The Ridgeline does. Uh, I've added a fan to that, and that's helped quite a bit. However, uh, not having one at all in the Pilot, I, I feel it's kind of detrimental. It, it needs one, so I'm going to be looking into maybe adding one from an Acura to it. That might be an option for us on the Pilot. So. Uh, either way, if you guys have questions or want specifics, reach out, let me know. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Later.